go in. Go in the hole. Now it's fair to say I have pretty much tried every single club that PXG have ever released in the last three or four years, except for this one. And maybe this is their best kept secret. Now, whilst these clubs might not be for everybody, they certainly are potentially the best value irons in this category that are on the market right now. And who would have ever thought you'd have been talking about the best value irons on the market from PXG? Turn. Maybe not. Now the first thing we think about as soon as you mention the word forged is expensive. Generally a manufacturer will tell you that the uh, why prices have gone up is due to the manufacturing process and particularly forging process is long and expensive. What if I was to tell you that these PXG 0211 ST blades are just £70 an iron? I don't know what PXG are doing right now. So at £70 an iron my guess is that is pretty much the cheapest forged iron out there on the marketplace and this direct to consumer idea or concept certainly means that uh, we've got some options right now which I never really thought we'd see. I couldn't see that breaking that putt either. Not very good and. Now the first thing you want to know and I do also is just how playable are these in my hands because I've already said they are butter knife looks wise from the top and they're a bit scary that bottom line is also again uh, it's extremely narrow and thin. I've got a five and a four iron, which I'd be really scared of playing in my own set of irons. When you look at these things, they're starting to ask questions of your game. But what I can say, they're surprisingly easy is the wrong word, but they're very, very playable at my level. So I wouldn't necessarily be put off by these by the fact they are an all out blade. But the fact they are blades is the exact reason why PXG don't make a great deal of noise about these things because it is such a small market. So few players now play blades that they kind of like go under the radar and at £70 a club they certainly shouldn't do but only if you are in the market for that better player iron and a blade and if you are then there's every reason why these should be in the mix. Sit down. Wow, actually a tad long. So that was the pitching wedge. So the shortest club we have in the bag is the wedge. What I can tell you is the feel out of these things is really, really good. And I'm not really going to talk about feel down the long end of the bag in terms of six, five and four iron. But certainly for me, where you want that sort of feel from the forged iron, it is in those eight, nine wedge, those scoring irons. And they're super, super soft. The shot you're going to see me hit was the one previous, which was a four iron. Like I said, the longest club in the bag. It's like a butter knife looking down at a dress and would frighten you to death to be quite honest with you. And again, I was surprised just as how well the ball flew out. Obviously, I got a decent enough contact on it. I think there is certainly a drop off in distance. That's what I'm used to with a four iron and we'll talk about that a bit later on. But just a surprise that I was able to play this thing as well as I did to be quite honest with you. So the question is, how do I feel about hitting PXG blades? And the answer to that is, uh, well, really good to be quite honest with you. They feel superb. They're surprisingly easy to use. And as you know, I am a big fan of blades and perhaps wish I had a bit more ability and confidence to play them. These are back down to traditional lofts ish, 32 degrees of seven iron. So much more like what you'd expect from traditional blades. And they've certainly got a bit of help packed in there. Like I said, not the kind of blade of old that we know, but again, We've seen that from a number of manufacturers right now where blades just aren't what they used to be in terms of difficulty to play. So I've got no fear in playing them, but if uh, from what I have seen out here on the course, I'm a good 10 to 15 yards shorter per iron, which again, that's not the end of the world. I'd be a little bit worried in terms of forgiveness. Am I getting away with stuff as much as I do with my Gen 5 irons in terms of forgiveness across the club face? So for me, I'm not quite there in terms of would I convert over to a blade? No, I wouldn't. And that's why, again, this is such a minimal product in terms of the way I think PXG view it. But if you're in that market, like I said earlier, at £70 a club, they're unreal in terms of the quality. They look superb and they tick every box of a better player's forged iron. I just do not know how PXG sell that for £70 a club right now. Anyway, I'm done. Nothing more I can add to this video. 
Uh, give me your feedback. Tell me what you thought. Did you even know this iron existed from PXG because it's so much under the radar? And if you do know, would you ever consider buying it or are you like me? Just sway towards a little bit more and help and forgiveness nowadays. Right, that's me done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon.